When solving a radical equation, the first thing that we need to do is isolate the radical. So here in our first example, we have 8 times the square root of the quantity x plus 7 equal to 48. So I need to isolate the square root of the quantity x plus 7. So to get rid of the 8, I'm going to divide both sides by 8. And it's going to leave me with the square root of x plus 7 equal to 6. Now that I have my radical isolated, I'm going to raise both sides of my equation to a power that is equal to the index of the radical. Since I have a square root, my index is 2, so I'm going to raise both sides to an exponent of 2. What that will do is it will eliminate the square root sign on my left side, leaving me with just the x plus 7. And then on the right side, I have 6 squared, which is 36. To solve for x, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides, and I get x to be 29. Now I need to check my solution by substituting in 29 for my x in my equation. So I'll have 8 times the square root of 29 plus 7 equal to 48. So I can begin by adding 29 plus 7 to give me the square root of 36. The square root of 36 is 6, so I am given 8 times 6, which is 48, so my solution checks. In our second example, we have negative 4 plus the square root of the quantity v subtract 8 equal to negative 1. So I need to isolate the square root of v subtract 8 so to do that, I'm going to add the 4 to both sides of my equation, and I'm going to be left with the square root of v subtract 8 equal to a positive 3. Now that my square root is isolated, the power equal to the index will be 2, so I raise both sides to an exponent of 2. The exponent will cancel out the square root on the left side, leaving me with v subtract 8 and 3 squared is 9. To solve for v, I'm going to add 8 to both sides, and I'm going to have v equal to 17. I need to check this solution as well, so I'm going to plug in 17 for v. So I'm going to have negative 4 plus the square root of 17 subtract 8 equal to a negative 1. I'm going to start with the 17 subtract 8 to give me the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is a positive 3, and negative 4 plus 3 equals a negative 1, so our solution checks as well.